Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I'm going to be doing the currently reading tag. I saw this on Aprilis Maximus channel and I thought the questions were really cool so I figured I would do them. Okay, question number one. How many books do you read at once? Um, this is going to be a shock to you. Um, I listen to a kid's book in the car. I listen to an audio book, so that's two. I'm currently reading, usually for a book club, that's three. And I have a book on my Kindle that's four. And I am very moody and... I would say I have more than four going at one time because I read, um, as I said, I'm very moody. So if I want something sad, I pick up a sad book. If I want something like a thriller, I pick up the thriller. If I want something happy, I pick up that book. So I have a, a lot of books going at the same time. Um, and I know it's, <laughs> I have a lot, but I have a lot and I have bookmarks in every single one. So I know exactly where I left off and I just continue on. Okay, question number two. If you are reading more than one book, how do you decide to switch? As I said, I'm a mood reader, um, but my also, I tend to, especially for the book club, um, um, read with friends which is really cool because they give me a schedule and uh, they tell me to read 50 pages so as soon as I finish those 50 pages or whatever the schedule is I usually read focus on that one book and then I put that book down and then I read anything else I pick something else that I already started that's on my side so um, that and usually it's like an hour at a time so and then I pick up something else so question number three do you ever switch bookmarks? Uh, no, I usually leave the same bookmark within the book. Um, I will add more bookmarks to new books that I pick up because I'm constantly picking up something else. Because I, if the book doesn't grab me, I don't really like to read it, especially if I only have an hour to read. I would like to sit there and read that one book for an hour. And if it's not grabbing me, I will constantly switch books. So, Okay, question number four. Where do you keep book books currently reading? Okay, the books I currently reading are usually next to me. And at, as you can see, I have a stack here. <laughs> and I have a stack on the other side for my book club. <laughs> so I'm constantly grabbing the books, bringing them wherever I'm going. If I'm in the kitchen, the books are in the kitchen. If I'm in the bedroom, the books are in the bedroom. If I'm in the car, the books come with me into the car and they're actually sitting on the passenger seats. So um, yes, I carry everything and I bring it to every room. <laughs> okay, question number five. What time of day do you spend the most reading? Um, I did this in another video. I read as soon as I wake up. I have usually 40, a half hour to 45 minutes before I have to take my shower. So I read then. Um, then I take my shower. I bring the kids to the bus stop. I eat my breakfast. Um, and then um, I come back in and I usually read again before I go to work. And then and then I um, come home from work, I eat my lunch, I'm reading, or I watch my Days of Our Lives. I usually try to get my Days of Our Lives in at lunchtime because I like to eat and watch TV. <laughs> so that's when I get my Days of Our Lives in. But after I finish that, I like to sit on the couch and read. But I found that when, after, because I'm waiting like a half hour before the bus comes, I find that I fall asleep. So I try not to read during lunchtime because that's when my downtime is and I pick up the book and I'm like totally out. I, I pass out. I have to put a timer on my phone just to wake me up to get the bus. Um, but once the kids come home, I uh, cook dinner, I watch, my, I watch my YouTube, I help them with their homework and then I um, at 8 o'clock at night I read again because that's when they have their reading time. So we read from 8 to 8.30 and um, they usually wander off because they only like to read for a half hour and I um, read more. So I usually tend to read later in the evening more. So question number six. How long do you read for in one sitting? I just told you it's half hour to 
45 minutes to an hour and then I my attention span is out I can't do anymore and I have to walk away I have a, a, a AHD or CCD I don't know what it is but I just don't have the attention span to sit there and read and read and read um, I constantly had to be doing something else. I can't even watch TV without doing something. It's like either I'm folding clothes or um, doing something. I'm watching YouTube. I'm cooking dinner. I'm constantly going and constantly doing something else. So reading is hard for me <laughs> to sit there for a long period of time. Number seven, do you read with desk jacket on or just desk jacket off? I personally tried the zest jacket off once and I didn't like it. I got my book all dirty, um, uh, the finger marks and all that. And I really like the desk jacket on, um, mainly because it protects my book. <laughs> so, and I also like looking at the cover. Uh, question number eight, which position do you mainly use to read? Um, I like to read in the kitchen sitting sitting up uh, that keeps me up because if I lay down I kind of fall asleep um, I do read in my bed I have to prop up my pillow so I'm actually in a sitting position um, so I can read um, if I'm laying down at any time while I'm trying to read it puts me right out <laughs> Um, I also read on the couch. Um, I have um, a pillow that I sit, as as I said, I put a pillow behind my, my neck and I have to sit up totally in order to read. If I'm laying down, it, I'm going out. I'm sleeping. <laughs> so, okay, question number nine. Do you take the book everywhere you go? Uh, everywhere I go, I have the book. I, I bring it to school. Um, but I don't bring it into the school. I leave it in the car, but... Um, I do have a book on my seat in the car and especially when I'm waiting for the bus for the kids um, and I always have if I'm if I have a pocketbook usually I don't carry a pocketbook but if I have a pocketbook there's always a book in there or I bring my Kindle along so I'm able to read something because I'm always you always find yourself needing a book to read or something to do so okay question number 10 how often do you update your um, your progress on Goodreads. Um, I'm always on Goodreads. I, um, I use my phone uh, mostly to update my progress. Um, I also use my computer. I also use my iPad. Um, I find that my iPad doesn't have, I can't read everybody's updates on my iPad. It's very limited. I don't know why. Uh, but my phone has more. I could see more and I could comment more where my iPad I can't. Maybe I have to update the version that I have on my iPad. I don't know. But on the computer, I could actually comment to anybody or if I'm on my phone, I could comment. And I do use my, I use, do upgrade update my at least once a day or twice a day I update where I am in the book so um, anyway that's it that's all the questions so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in another video bye thank you for watching